Apeline, and this is Kiona. She's one of the youngest baby wearing consultants in the world. So today, we are going to show you what's the difference between the Manduka first as well as the Manduka XT. Now we've got a lot of questions regarding uh, which carrier is better for me. So if you are deciding between the Manduka first or the Manduka XT, it may be very helpful if you not watched our features video to actually take a look at it then that will make uh, the comparisons video much clearer to you okay I'm going to start with uh, the, how you put the infant into a Manduka XT as well as a Manduka first okay that's one of the key differences between these two carriers while they are all made of 100% organic cotton the way you use it for an infant uh, is different so between these two carriers so if you notice the Manduka XT the seat base is adjustable here alright okay this makes it easy for me to adjust for a newborn on the go make it to the smallest size for newborn from about 3.5 kilos for the manduka first you will notice that they have an infant insert that's included in the carrier so you use this sit down and button it on and the baby sits here with the legs inside so baby's legs are out in a manduka xt for an infant and for the manduka first using the original infant seat you typically have the baby's legs inside. Okay. The Manduka XT also has, as I said, an adjustable seat earlier that can adjust for a smaller infant and the seat base can be extended fully to actually fit up to about a three or four year old child if you need to, all right, for average size child. Okay, so this is how wide it goes comparative to the Manduka first that's fixed seat okay so that's done I'll talk about the second key difference between the Manduka first as well as the Manduka XT alright for the Manduka first as well as the Manduka XT you will notice that they both have zippers here okay if you fully unzip them you will notice that the Manduka XT is slightly higher than the Manduka first okay for the Manduka first you have two different heights you just unzip and you basically have the taller panel for the Manduka XT it also comes with the ellipse like this that you can zip it up so that gives you the flexibility of Three different heights. Okay, so it's taller, it's wider, different infant system. Next, we move on to the sleeping foot. The sleeping foot in the Manduka first has Velcro, so it keeps very neatly inside. You can't really see the infant sleeping foot. Okay, the Manduka XT has it tucked away without Velcro, like this. Okay. And if you pull out the infant sleeping hood, you'll notice that the XT has a slightly larger sleeping hood. Okay. Now, this one is very straightforward for the Manduka first. All you need to do is to click on, and that's how you use the sleeping hood. For the Manduka XT, there's an additional feature to the sleeping hood. Look at this part with the buttons as well as the elastic loop. What it means is that if, you, if your child doesn't like to have the head covered up, you have the flexibility of actually rolling this down and see the webbing over here at the side for the perfect fit adjusters. Right, you can button this down and that creates a separate neck row for the child's neck support if they fall asleep. So it's a little bit more flexible in that sense. All right. Last thing 
which may be very difficult to tell, is actually the fabric of the Manduka first versus the Manduka XD. So for the Manduka first, they have double layer fabric, which makes it very very sturdy for use with heavier kits. For the Manduka XD, they come with a single layer fabric, which it makes it very very moldable for the infants as well, and also makes it very breathable and much. Uh, some people prefer it because it's thinner and uh, the perception is it may be cooler with the Manduka XD. That's all for the Manduka first as well as the Manduka XD. See you again.